I was thinking about this yesterday, I think about three years now. Yeah. It was about three years ago that I came here with my then partner Jackie and uh, we saw this church and we thought this is the most beautiful church in the world. Hmm. And, uh, and then we came to the next service and you were there and we thought oh, this is the right man. And uh, you very kindly agreed to marry us. And uh, I've been living here ever since. <laughs> Orchestra and um, in South Africa, you played for the Philharmonic Orchestra yeah, there. Yeah, the National Orchestra there. National yes. Orchestra, yeah. and uh, I know you've played with Carl Jenkins, who's uh, one yeah. of the favourite sons, of course, of, yeah, of right. uh, Pan Cloud and the people of the yeah. Marsh here. Um, and we discovered that uh, our your your very educated uh, musical background. Um, and my completely uneducated <laughs> musical background seems to have found uh, a way of being that um, we, we, we both thank God yeah. that we've, uh, yeah. we've been blessed with it. And but it's all relative, of course, isn't it? Because I'm very uneducated in, in the world of music that you've always occupied. Mm. And uh, the, the biggest revelation for me has been to get away from the tyranny of the printed page and to get into this improvisatory way of making music. And it's wonderful because it's like just tapping into a stream of consciousness, but it's not consciousness in words, it's consciousness in notes. Yeah. And the other thing... And I, silences. As and well. silences as well, yeah, when you remember. <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing the digital. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the other thing is, that the reason why any musician takes up an instrument is because he or she has fallen in love with the sound. And when you're playing in an improvisatory way, as we have been doing, you're just back to the sound of the instrument. And you're just subsuming yourself into that. It's, it's great. It's been a wonderful trip. <laughs> Down the blood of the lamb. 
So we found um, that through our improvisation, uh, Celtic music has has, uh, has lent itself to us in yeah. a in yeah. a beautiful way, in a powerful way, yeah. and uh, we've reflected a lot on on the Celtic saints and Christianity coming here to Gower. Yeah. Uh, we, we reflect on this in church and we reflect on it in our prayer life and yeah. we share centering prayer for example. Mm -hmm. uh, but but we've we found a, a deep sense of um, Christian being in yeah. our uh, in both in our music and in the way that uh, the Celtic uh, we were talking just yesterday uh, how, how you know you can't imagine Celtic saints, Rydian, Iftid, um, uh, Kenneth, you can't imagine them going to sit down in a coffee morning, can no, you? <laughs> no, no. It's a different kind of Christianity, a raw Christianity. Absolutely. Where people Elemental. were really living their faith, jumping into a coracle, yeah. throwing away the oars, yeah. and, um, and, and just saying, God, you take me yeah. where you want. Yeah. And I guess this is... The way we we respond to the music, and then with the way Absolutely. we use music, yeah. is that we say, "Well, let these instruments and let God, through our breath, yeah. take us where God would like to take us." Absolutely, yeah. And sometimes you end up in surprising places. Mm. If you just let go, Absolutely. don't struggle. Yeah. Just go with the flow. There's been times, you know, when I've looked out of that far window mm. at the marsh mm. and the estuary there, and I've almost Imagine that I could see a little coracle bobbing, yeah. <laughs> bobbing along on the current there, with a freezing monk in it. Yeah, and it's it's hard. You can't overemphasize what a life they lived. It, they were on the edge of certain death at all times. You climb into one of those frail, fragile little cockle shell craft, mm. and uh, are totally at the mercy of the elements. And you've brought that out in a poem that is uh, part of the album that we've been making. Um, beautiful, beautiful, powerful poem where we have just mixed it with the sound of the sea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't need music. Yeah. It's all there yeah. in the words, in the rhythms and in the sea. Yeah. And uh, I guess this is something that we're learning as well with our playing together is that it's what you don't do sometimes mm -hmm. that that really makes the, yeah. the music happen. Yeah. The sea is still this blessed day. The colour of a flattened sword. Not like last night. Shrieked like a horse and tried to throw me off its back. I am proud, not my only sin, but Lord, I tell you true, I wept, and quaking, vomited my fear. Though still now, it's cold, despite my monk's brown wool. My hands are numb on the paddle, Think like a goat. This coracle is clumsy, fragile, small. I fear death. Yes, but failure more. And why? To tell God's truth, I do not know. Some urgent force propels me on to find the victim folk who live in fear and tell the story of the risen Christ. The current flows beneath my eggshell craft of leather, willow, pitch and sweat. And soon I'll fall on foreign sand. For now, Lord, keep me safe to do your work and guide me with your healing hand. It's very, very often much, very much like um, it's a sort of meditation, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And there's a minimalism to it. Mm -hmm. 
to you know to use a, a, a modern musicological term, and it's all the stronger for that, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And here we are standing underneath what is a very ancient yew tree. Uh, it's uh, it's hollow inside, and I don't think a yew tree can be hollow until it's at least a thousand years old. Yeah. So we're standing under a tree that has been here before this church was built. Yeah. Um, uh, but, of course, underneath Clanridian Church, there's another church, and underneath that, another church. And under that, the, the rock uh, where the Druids used to come and uh, do their ceremonies. So uh, the church in, in Gower and in Wales is conscious from the beginning of its, uh, its being in touch with nature and yeah. with uh, the expression of the Druidic Celtic yeah. religion as well, because the Druids became the first priests yes. here. So, uh, you can imagine, can't you, um, one of these ancient people climbing out of the coracle, perhaps having bobbed across the Irish Sea or from Brittany or somewhere like that, and arriving at a place like this. And I think you and I are feeling this at the moment. You come to a place like this, you know it's a special place. Yes. There doesn't have to be a church here. It's just a sort of natural feeling that that uh, that focuses you on the marsh and on the estuary, mm -hmm. and you think, "Wow, this is amazing!" And so he must have felt that. Yeah. And from that moment on, then there was there was a succession. By he, I mean Ridian, yes. Yes. And or if did we don't yes. know exactly the history, but yeah. uh, somebody anyway <laughs> yeah. must have felt something very special here. And there are a number of places like this on the Gower, aren't there? Yes, there are. But, uh, Oxford, for instance. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful setting. If, and Ilston as well. Uh, yeah. There's so many, actually. Mm. Uh, and a little later, we'll go up to Arthur Stone and we'll see Gower from mm. there. Um, yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's been wonderful making this album with you. Yeah. And uh, we don't too. really want it to stop. No. Doing, <laughs> but we've re finished the recording now. Yeah. And uh, so we have some mixing to do. Uh, and then we will be making the album yeah but uh, let's not stop available. playing we won't stop playing we certainly <laughs> won't. we'll be going to the churches when we around wales yeah and sampling the acoustics in those places yeah. and also the spirituality of those places yeah. and uh, making music yeah. for as long as we can absolutely yeah. can't wait god bless you leslie and you thank you <laughs>